This is a good day. Finally getting this chemical out of my shop. Been tired of going around it. Let's get to it. Get that loaded up on the trailer right there. There we go. Good enough for government work. Yeah, I should know that. All right, park this. All right, so I'm gonna get this parked over here. Just love my Ford 600 here. Works nicely. That's a big tank to have on just a regular old pickup truck. This thing can handle the more weight. Saves me probably some axles. Just park this over to the side. Over here by my gooseneck roll. You guys think I should invest in a good mower? I mean, it's a little bit high. Eh, we can wait a few months probably, right? All right, I'm gonna leave that parked. So I'm gonna still has to clean up the planter, get it parked quick, get the harvester back in that the shed, and then I need to get to swaffing some alfalfa. Look at that thing, just so intimidating. Hmm. Just love that front end of that John Deere. All right, let's get our cases in the shed. I know, I'm just putting them in the shed until it's harvest time. They don't belong in the shed. Even though this harvester was made back in the 2000s, it has a yield monitor, it has a, uh, a crop moisture sensor. That old International does not have any of that. But, it did get the job done. It just got, you just got a lot of more dirt and grime in your face on that one. Man, look at all this room for activities. I feel like doing jumping jacks in my spandex. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. So we got the alfalfa here, if you can see. We need to mow it. Oh, I probably shouldn't be uh, running this over. But it's a little bit high, just a little bit above our uh, head there. But hopefully our John Deere Moco can get it done. I'm a little bit worried it might get clogged like a half a dozen times. That stuff is thick. We'll get back, get the Moco on. I need to figure out what tractor I'm gonna put it on so I would have to take the duels off of the old uh, 4440 thinking about asking uh, Jim if I can use his challenger just so I don't have to take the duels off this thing this would be a perfect mowing tractor all right so we are driving back with Jim's challenger here so uh, I just love this thing kind of hit the ditch kind of hard there Oops, good thing it's not my tractor. I'm gonna get this put on the Moco. So you're probably thinking, oh, I thought you uh, didn't want the duels on. Yep, that is correct. Jim actually told me he had the duels off his loader tractor, but uh, I don't know what Jim was thinking, but they are on it. I think we're just gonna see how much it really affects. Usually you don't want to uh, Usually you don't want to swap with duels just because you have more of the crop getting run over the next cutting crop, but uh, Alfalfa it's not as bad. We're just gonna use it We'll see how bad it actually is, but oh well don't feel like taking them heavy duels off right now So I'm gonna get this over to our giant alfalfa you don't know, our cousin fell ill the other day, and she's still recovering. She is, uh, she's still basically, uh, she's getting better, but she, uh, definitely don't want to be around her right now, that's for sure. Alright, there's our alfalfa field. Just gotta pull in and start swapping. This is not a giant field by any means. It's a little bit hard getting in here. All right, I forgot. I know, I still have to cut a basically a gate for that fence. 
We're gonna have to go through our ravine up here instead. I know I'm running over my grass crop, but uh, it's still young grass. It cannot withstand it. So go around our pond, our old creepy shed, right through our deep ditch here. I'm fighting these branches over here. I might just have to run down some of this crop, go around the other way. I just got a little bit too close to these branches. You can see that mower. You can barely see it with this big crop. Got the back window opened up. I just love the smell of fresh cut alfalfa. Such a beautiful smell. You guys probably think I'm weird, but it actually does smell really good. At least I think so. You can see we waited a little bit too long for this alfalfa. It's a lot of it's blooming. It means it's going to be a little bit stimmy. You want to cut at your alfalfa right when you got the most. Your leaves are nice, freshly made. All right, we are cutting away here right around this crop so hard to uh, focus in right when you're going around like this so means we have a fold out uh, mower here we had to run down some of the crop but not too much I think we're doing all right so far I'm surprised we're not getting more of a uh, windrow because this uh, alfalfa is extremely tall, if you can tell. So, our uh, dairy cows will just love this alfalfa. Alfalfa is one of the dairy necessities. mowing along man I just love with the windows open I always have to keep these uh, doors open when I'm mowing alfalfa I don't know what it is I just love that smell just a beautiful smell we it didn't take us long to mow this whole thing we're about on our ninth row round uh, we are just going around and around this field doesn't take long. I know we got the duels on. We are running over a little bit of the wind row here. Oh well. We're going to have to end up fluffing that wind row up anyway, so doesn't really hurt that much. It's so wet right now. We ain't knocking off no leaves anyway, so we're good to go. Look at all them straight, almost perfect wind rows. Man. Man, I'm not like I'm tooting my own horn here, but uh, that kind of impressed me even. So we got everything when road. Everything is good to go. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. So uh, I think we'll go back, uh, take the wife out to eat here, hopefully. Hopefully don't get stuck in our ravine. Uh, 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 yep. Yeah. Get out. Thank Jim for letting us use his Challenger tractor. Love this thing by the way and probably wash this thing up because it's uh, a muddy mess and we just drove it through mud probably don't want that around our moco 
Alright, so me and my wife just got done eating some donuts at the donut shop. Probably gonna take her over here and take her through the Starbucks drive through Get a little Cappy Mocha. Drive through here. Hopefully my hay is dry tomorrow. Huh, I wonder if there's anything on this radio. Let's see. Oh, hey guys, make sure you like the video. Okay. Well, turn that off. That was a little weird. A little bit weird. So, beans, I've been waiting so long for my hay to dry. I just, I've been tinkering with this old uh, Model A really want this thing to run I would love to be able to rake with this Let's see if we could get this come on come on kick over kick over kick over you can do it you can do it ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. we got it running looky there all right I'm going to drive this over to the farm, get some shut-eye, and that hay, I hope, is dry in the morning. Rake and bale it in the dew. Alright, we got an early start this morning. Whew. Wow, a little bit sleepy. I don't know if I can hold a coffee cup on my uh, Model A here. This might be a little uh, challenging. I definitely can't work in this kind of conditions without my coffee. Alright, getting over there takes a little bit longer with Model A. It doesn't have the road speed as the other ones do, but we got our rakes. If you didn't know, we found some of these rakes in basically the wee row. We got them all cleaned up. I think they call all bar rakes, or I might have got that name wrong. But they are basically uh, ground-powered rakes, and I just thought it would almost be perfect to use on this old Model A. That's why I'm happy I got it running. Uh-oh. This might be a little hard for... Might get stuck. This might not be good. Oh, man, this is... Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Pull it through. Pull it through. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Oh, you got it, you got it. Oh, wow. Oh. All right. Uh, a little bit, uh, this is a little bit challenging for the old uh, Model A. I don't know. Might end up uh, basically getting a real, or uh, the mirror rake out here. Get this done quicker because, uh, you're going a little bit slow through these, so don't think this is going to get it done quickly. The Model A with the old bar rake was kind of a fail, so it just didn't have enough horsepower for these hilly, uh, well, this is uh, kind of nut level ground for uh, Falfa Field. But. So we got the old Ford out and the reawake doing good so far so hopefully we get this old rake so we can uh bail it right away all right i'm gonna have my wife run the real rake for a while here so i can go get the baler i gotta go pick that up from a neighbor and uh hopefully we can get to uh bailing this it seems almost dry enough it's still a little wet we just got perfect conditions due i'm hoping i can get the whole thing bailed but we will see it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Alright, pulling it up here. You guys probably remember this uh, tractor on this baler. So, uh, we did borrow his big square baler. Now, we're borrowing his little square baler. Inline little square baler. This is where I made my bread and, bread and brother. I ran one of these for years and years and years. Little square bale. This inline can really run quick laps around the old New Hollands and John Deere's uh, side intake balers, but I ran them both. This will always run laps around it just because the plunger runs faster. All right, this 4840 is extreme overkill 
for this little baler but this is the only tractor he had available and he has all the electronics hooked up for it he just said use it so we are going to use it i have no problem running an old 4840 love this old thing man yeah listen to that sound such a beautiful sounding little thing a little baler looks a little teeny tiny behind this old thing but all right we're gonna get this back and hopefully we can put some little square bales on the ground so you're probably wondering why are you little square baling and not rolling it so uh little square bales especially little alfalfa bales or good uh uh grass crop can really get you a better uh bang for your uh tonnage so uh, little square baler bales definitely go for a higher price than the same tonnage and a round bale but that's why we are little square baling it we're gonna see if how much we can sell this uh first cutting of alfalfa and uh see if it's worth this or not we might end up getting a little square baler we can sell all the little square bales that is all right we are putting little square bales down hopefully at least See, are we gonna shoot one out here? Well, there's our first little square bales. Don't like how it's laying on the side like that, but we'll have to fix that later. Definitely some big windrows going on here. Uh, it's about at eight to nine percent moisture, so we are go time. There we go, shooting them out now. Really wish they'd be all lined up. It's a lot harder to uh, pick them up when they're not lined up. That is so. We're gonna have to put them all in a on a trailer. So not looking forward to that, but I'm looking forward to the payday at least. All right, we are bailing around here. My wife seems to be having a lot of problems over there turning around. It's not how you exactly turn around, but. I wish these bales would be laying down better, but they aren't. But it's probably because of our speed, most likely. So you can go pretty quick with an inline baler. But our wind rows are kind of big, if you haven't noticed. So we are uh, putting down a lot of bales. A whole lot of bales. And uh, as you know, this uh, 4840 is uh, a little bit overkill. A lot of bit overkill probably four times horsepower overkill but uh i'm not complaining because uh it's a 4840 this is old iron at its best right here let's see you guys ready for another little montage just about done last wind row yeah now now comes the dreaded part we gotta pick all them up Ugh. anybody that's done that before either wants to get in shape for football or dreads it one of the two but thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in Missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe 
see if this old thing could get it through the ditch. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Old iron getting it done. Make sure you like the video.